when the pandemic hit and businesses were forced to close. I'm a massage therapist and a nail tech. Danette Wicker found herself out of work. One year later, the door to her small Fort Worth massage and boutique store is back open. But it hasn't been easy, and it's definitely not business as usual. This is not, a, as we see, a year, 12 month, 18 month. This will be a cycling business wise for the next two to 10 years with a new normal. Last March, Danette applied for a small business disaster loan and filed for unemployment benefits. They were supposed to be the safety nets until she could return to work. No. It, it turned out to be a, a lifeline to save me from drowning, but I already was drowning before they threw it. And I still had to keep grasping and grasping and grasping. Danette's small business loan barely covered expenses for a month. And when she went online to apply for unemployment benefits, she was told to call, but she couldn't get through. It was months before she saw her first unemployment check. Danette was not alone. When David Aguirre lost his job as a car salesman, he was initially denied unemployment benefits. He tried calling hundreds of times, trying to fix the problem. But while David eventually did get his benefits, to this day, Elizabeth Gatewood says she still hasn't received all of hers. Her appeal to the Texas Workforce Commission months later is still pending. Elizabeth, David, and Danette are all back working, but like 41% of Americans, they say they're making less now than they were before the pandemic. Danette says the only reason she's been able to stay in business is not because of any federal relief program, but because she adapted. I've totally pivoted to retail being how my business can be financially successful. Before the pandemic, 70% of her business was massages. Now 70% is virtual shopping, using FaceTime to give customers who may not want to come in a personal shopping experience. And the first one I did, the camera was right side up or upside down, and it was pitiful. So I've come a long way. It's too easy to um, just come in and be defeated. You know, it's not like I'm you know, skipping through the tulips every day, but I figure out each day what it is I can achieve that day to grow my business. I'm not stagnant and I'm not dead. I'm not where I want to be at all, but I am, I am moving forward. Earlier this month, speaking in front of the state Senate committee, the executive director of the Texas Workforce Commission admitted that despite extra call takers and added call centers, getting a hold of a TWC employee by phone is still a problem today. The unemployment rate here in Texas has dropped in half since last April, but is still double the rate of what it was pre-pandemic. In Frisco, Brian New, CBS 11 News.